Hi, everyone. I'm James Cadella, Product Manager in Azure Cosmos DB. Today, I'm joined by Johan, and we're going to be talking about building generative AI applications with Azure Cosmos DB in JavaScript, and Johan's going to show us a great demo at the end. Let's get into it. So we'll start out talking about vector indexing options in Azure. Then we'll dive into Azure Cosmos DB for AI apps. We'll look at some generative AI use cases with Cosmos DB. And then we'll go into that nice JavaScript demo that Johanna has prepared for us. So you have many options for choosing vector indexes or a vector search solution in Azure today. You have any of the Azure databases uh, offerings. And these are preferable when you have semi-structured or operational data where you want a single source of truth for your data and to do vector search and retrieve augmented generation for your AI applications using one database. We also have Azure AI Search. Azure AI Search is a very powerful uh, search service that you can also use for vector search or full text search or hybrid search. Um, has a lot of great capabilities, advanced capabilities for more relevancy in the, in the uh, search process. It also is able to index files or documents or data items from multiple different sources. So if you have data in Cosmos DB or blob storage or uh, Postgres or some combination uh, of, of, of all of it, you can have Azure AI Search be the single sort of indexer over that entire data. So multiple different options. If I want a single source of truth, I can use a database. If I want uh, maybe multiple sources of truth or multiple sources uh, of data, I can use Azure AI Search. Uh, really, really powerful options uh, for every single scenario that your application might have. So let's talk a little bit about Azure Cosmos DB. Uh, in principle, we have two flavors of Cosmos DB. We have our Cosmos DB for NoSQL offering, which is our core Cosmos DB offering. Then we also have a Cosmos DB for MongoDB offering. Um, both of these offerings have uh, vector search capabilities and are great for AI applications. Uh, Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL is what we'll be talking about here. And here we have multiple different options, including you know, there's a serverless option or a provision throughput option with auto scale. So you pay for compute that you use, or you, know, you can pay for provision compute and then take advantage of our high elasticity uh, so when demand picks up, uh, Cosmos DB will automatically scale out for you and then scale back in when that demand subsides. Uh, Cosmos DB for NoSQL also has you know, low latency data transactions. You can often do uh, reads and writes in under 10 milliseconds, which is really powerful. Also offers mission critical reliability and vector search with a new vector indexing type called DiskANN, which we're really excited about to offer uh, very cost efficient and performant vector search at any scale. So there's lots of different scenarios that our customers are already building AI applications with Cosmos DB for NoSQL. Uh, we're going to talk about a few of them here today. So there's chat history. So as I'm talking to a large language model, maybe I have a chatbot application, I might want to keep a record of the conversation that I'm having with the chatbot. Um, and then this is really powerful for doing auditing later or maybe uh, uh, prov providing context on previous conversations to the chatbot. Uh, we can also do retrieval augmented generation uh, which is about bringing the right data at the right time from your database to per personalize your large language model for your specific scenario or application. And we do this today using vector search. So also lots of use cases for multi-tenant apps, real-time recommendations, anomaly detection, and even multi-agent AI systems. So lots of use cases today that we have thousands of customers building these incredible applications using Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL. Customers like OpenAI, TomTom, KPMG, ASOS, and MasterCard and more. So let's actually double click on the OpenAI scenario. So ChatGPT scales very well with Azure Cosmos DB. All of the chat history for ChatGPT in order to maintain uh, session consistency between previous sessions or previous topics you've talked to ChatGPT about, all those conversations are stored in Cosmos DB. And OpenAI chose Azure Cosmos DB for our low latency and for our high availability and scale architecture so it can seamlessly meet the demands of their ever popular application ChatGPT. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the use cases, right? We did it at a high level. Uh, so there's some uh, really specific use cases that customers have built their applications on with Cosmos DB. The first is a vector and operational database in one, right? So you don't need to store your data in one database and have a dedicated vector database for your vectors or for vector search. You can actually store all of this together in Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL, right? A vector is just a list of numbers. Plus the numbers can be stored as another property in my document or data item in Cosmos DB. So you can store everything together in one place. This means you don't need to ETL data to another resource. You can maintain data consistency, and it reduces the complexity and cost of your AI application architecture. Built on top of that is this notion of retrieval augmented generation, bringing your own data to a large language model so you can personalize it for your scenario. And you can do this today with very uh, high speed, 
high efficiency using Azure Cosmos DB. Chat history. I talked about how uh, OpenAI uh, uses Cosmos DB to maintain chat history for uh, ChatGPT. It's really good for this conversational context, but also for analyzing, you know, where does my AI model or my AI application perform well? Maybe where does it need a little bit of help? So you can actually use it for auditing or improvement purposes later on as well. And then finally, there's also this notion of semantic caching, which is getting very popular. Semantic caching basically plays on the last two topics, which we've all mentioned, generation and chat history. Basically, if I'm already logging chat responses or um, uh, questions from users and responses from a large language model, I can actually vectorize these and take advantage of them later. So if I see a user question that I've seen previously, rather than send this question to my large language model, which is oftentimes if I make that API call, it has a very high latency or high cost associated with it, especially if I'm using a state-of-the-art model like GPT-4. Instead of doing that, instead, I can just vectorize the user's question and then do a very fast and efficient vector search for all the questions that have already been asked that have stored in Cosmos DB. And if I see the same question or a very similar question, I can just leverage a historical response from my large language model that I've logged into into my uh, Azure Cosmos DB resource. So this is a really great way to take advantage of uh, things that you've already cached or stored uh, in the database, and you can just use to you know, reduce uh, latency and also reduce cost of your AI application. So lots of great use cases, and we'll see some of these uh, in the demo that Johan has prepared for us. Okay, so I mentioned that we have vector search in Cosmos DB, um, right? So we can store our data and our vectors together in one database, in one data item that reduces our complexity and overall cost of our AI applications. Not only can I, can, can I do vector search, but I can also apply any of the existing query filters that we support in Cosmos DB's NoSQL language today. Right? So any sort of equality or range or query folders I can use as well. And we offer multiple indexing types from a flat or brute force or exact search to a quantized or compressed flat search, and then even disk ANN, which is a new algorithm that we're making available on a Microsoft product for the first time that allows very efficient vector search at scale. Uh, and this is something that was developed internally at Microsoft and Microsoft Research. We've used internally in Microsoft products, and we're really excited to bring it to you for your vector search uh, scenarios in Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL. And this is all built on top of all the goodness you get with Cosmos DB, the serverless provision throughput model, built-in multi-tenancy, uh, instant and dynamic auto scale, all the goodness that we have talked about, including our industry leading five nines of availability, you get all of this in your vector search scenarios. So it's really powerful stuff here. And I mentioned that uh, we offer our disk ANN uh, vector indexing algorithm for the first time in a Microsoft product. And the way it works uh, to actually achieve this efficiency is you start off with inserting your vectors into your document or your data item in Cosmos DB. And those vectors are compressed. The compressed vectors are stored in an in-memory index. And the uncompressed or full fidelity vectors and the full graph data structure for the index is stored on high-speed SSDs, which make up the backbone of Azure Cosmos DB. And so when you go and do a vector search, it can start off searching through some of the compressed or quantized vectors in RAM and then leverage the complex graph that gets created uh, that's stored on the SSD. So this hybrid approach of using both RAM and hyper-fast SSDs allows vector search in Cosmos DB to be very fast, but also very cost-efficient because leveraging the high-speed SSDs is much, much, much more uh, uh, resource easy, not as computationally expensive as using RAM. So it makes uh, vector search very cost-effective, very cheap, very high quality in Azure Cosmos DB for SQL. Okay. So I've done a lot of talking about how great Cosmos DB is with vector search. Uh, let's take a look at what that looks like uh, in JavaScript with langchain.js. So we'll hand it over now to Johan to uh, show us what he's got. So hey, thank you, James, for all these details. Uh, now let's have a look at a practical example of using Azure Cosmos DB for a RAG uh, application. Now you may already have seen uh, this support chat application that we built in the previous videos. So here, we're asking support questions, and all the answers comes from the PDF data that was ingested and vectorized in Cosmos DB. Now let's take a quick look at how we implemented this. So here, we have the function that ingests the PDF documents. So let's skip to the most interesting part in there. So 
The first part uh, is that we need to extract the text from the PDF using this component from Longchain.js. Next, we split uh, the text into smaller chunks to improve the accuracy and allow multiple chunks to fit into the LLM context. And then, we need to transform uh, this text into vectors and store them into the database. To do that, first, uh, we need to initialize the embedding model. So we do that uh, by creating this Azure OpenAI embeddings object in there. And then we only need a single line here uh, to convert all the chunks into vectors and store them into Cosmos DB. That's because we built in an integration for Cosmos DB right into Longchain.js to make it easier to use it. And now, to use these documents to perform the right process, we go to the implementation of our chat API in there. So first, we need to initialize everything that we need. The embeddings, the chat model, and then our Cosmos DB uh, vector store integration. We still need to pass the embedding model in there to be able to convert a question into a vector so we can perform the vector search. Next, to use uh, Azure Cosmos DB as our retriever component, we make this call here to say that we want to retry the top three documents when performing a vector search. And finally, we invoke the retriever with the question to do the search, and it will take care of vectorizing the question, doing the search, and returning the matching text so that we can inject that into our context. Of course, uh, you can go further and fully customize the process, like choosing which algorithm you want to use. But if you're OK with the defaults, it's as simple as that to use it in your RAG application. And now I believe, uh, James, you have something very nice to, to offer us. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're really excited to announce uh, the continuation of the Azure AI Advantage free offer. So if you're using Azure AI services or GitHub Copilot, you may be eligible for up to $6,000 free Azure Cosmos DB credit for 90 days. So you can check out this link to learn more, aka.ms slash Azure AI Advantage blog for full details. But it's a really great way to get started. You know, it's already very cost effective and very cheap to get started in Cosmos DB. Um, but now as you bring your applications to development and then to production, really great way, really great incentive to keep on using Cosmos DB for those AI apps. Thanks. In the next video, we'll see all the other Azure services and tools that you can use also for your AI applications.